maps for Minecraft 1.19.3. How do you install them? Well, first off, you need to download some maps. You may have a map in mind already, and if you do, that's awesome. You're good to go. However, those of you that don't, we do have a link in the description down below that will take you here, which is our list of Minecraft maps. It is worth noting the version. Some 1.19 and 1.19.2 maps, for example, will work in the most recent version. Some will not. It kind of just depends on the map, so keep that in mind. However, in this video, we're going to be installing two maps. We're going to be installing Radiant City Official, and we're also going to be installing the Upwards Puzzle Map, which is uh, one of my favorite maps. You can't jump. It's really cool. But anyway, when you click download on the site, it takes us to Minecraft Maps, where you want to scroll down and click on the Download Map button here. Once that's downloaded, we can move on to Radiant City. Radiant City is a, well, city that's a survival-based map. It's huge. Really cool. You'll see it once we get in-game. On the right-hand side, we can scroll down to the 1.19 section and click the Download button here. Well, that's downloading. How about us for our sponsor, Apex Minecraft hosting? Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server with a custom map. You can easily add your own map to Minecraft, so if you want to play any of these maps with your friends, you can do so. Also on Apex, you have one-click installation of mod packs, mods, plugins, all that stuff. And last but not least, they have 24 hours, seven day a week support should you have any issues. We host all our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft hosting. So go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour DOS protected Minecraft server. Nevertheless, our maps are now downloaded so we can minimize our browser and we want to move these to our desktop. It's very important you do this because you need to unzip them and get the correct files. So to do that, click the lower Windows icon to the top of my screen, bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11, type in downloads. You have this file explorer here. You may have a downloads folder linked directly. If you do, click on that. Otherwise, click on file explorer. And then on the left-hand side, scroll down to this PC where we can click on the downloads button. Then we want to move these to our desktop. Now, like I said, we want to extract both of these. To do that, right-click on it and click extract all. Click extract. And you're going to want to do this on any map that you download. So even if you had one downloaded before this, you want to extract it. You cannot install a map as a .zip file. So we need to make sure they're extracted. Once both of these are extracted, we can delete the .zip files we have because we have these brand new folders here. One is upwards and one is Radiant City. But we're still not done. We need to open these up. So if we up and up upwards here, this is what we want to see. We want to see these folders, data, data packs. So you see a folder, open that folder up. And then once you see data packs, all this stuff, click back and move this folder to your desktop. We want to repeat the process with Radiant City. We open it up. We don't see the correct stuff. We open it up again, and here's everything that we need to see. Drag this to your desktop. Now we can delete the files that we downloaded, which is going to be this right here. I say that we downloaded the empty folders here, right, or anything else that doesn't open up and immediately see the files and folders that I mentioned. So upwards here, you see data, data packs, region, things like that. Once you see that, you're good to go. And Radiant City. When we open that up, we see these. We're good to go. We can now install these. To do that, you actually want to open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, one of the cool things about maps is you don't need to load into game to install them. You just need to load into the launcher. We can install the maps, then load into the game. So to do that, once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to click on the installations tab. Now, this will work. Installations right up here at the top. Click on that. And this will work on modded versions as well. So any version, whether it's modded, vanilla, it doesn't matter. This will work. Hover over the version you do want to install your map on and click on the folder icon. That's going to open this up where we then want to navigate to our saves folder. In the saves folder, we just want to drag and drop our maps. Now, when we do that, we want to make sure that when we open them, we see these files and folders in the saves folder. If you don't see this, it's not going to work. You have to see some of these. Maybe not all of them, but at least some of these files and folders. Same thing with Radiant City. Let's go ahead and make sure that when we open this, there they all are. Now, you might also have a resource pack that comes with some maps, and you can add that to your resource packs folder if you want, but you don't have to do that. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and open up Minecraft and check out these maps in game. I'll see you on the main menu. From the main menu, we just click on single player and there's our map. There's upwards. This one's super easy. Just double click on it. It's going to work. Sometimes you will have to convert a map up. If that happens, you just click the I know what I'm doing button. If it doesn't work, well then that's okay. You can just delete the map, come back, reinstall it, and then play it on the version that is specified on the website. But if we go ahead and click start here, here we are. Um, I can't jump, right? Like I said, this is so cool. You can't jump. Um, it is kind of funny because if you, I think if you've on this hole, you can jump. Yeah. If you're on the white block, you can jump. So you got to, you got to figure it out. How does it work? I don't know. I don't know. We, we've got to figure it out. Oh, we, we're bouncing. That's really cool. So yeah, it's an amazing map. I, I honestly love it. So nevertheless, that is upwards. What about the other map, Radiant City? Well, like I said, it's uh, quite crazy. So if we go into a single player here, we can double click on Radiant City and it will also just work. Like I said, sometimes you have to click the I know what I'm doing button. And if that's the case, it's very simple to do that. You just click on what I'm doing, and if it has any issues, well, then it has issues. But nevertheless, as you can see, tons of advancements and all sorts of stuff in Radiant City. Look at this spawn. Absolutely insane. But if we come out here, we'll be able to see, look at this city. This has a metro system, like a subway system built into it. 
truly amazing. I would love to see like a let's play, a survival let's play on this uh, on this map because uh, it just it just keeps going. <laughs> absolutely insane. I think there's actually advancements built into it as well. Um, I think because I'm in creative, it unlocked all of those at one time, but overall crazy map that you can uh, explore, build out in, and do your own sort of survival world on. And it looks like there's also a metro system above ground here. I didn't know this was a thing. That's really cool. So, amazing custom map there, but that's how you can add maps to Minecraft 1.19.3. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, we make tons of awesome Minecraft videos every single day of the week, specifically on the technical side of Minecraft, not the, you know, how to build something. Like, I have no clue how to build any of these buildings, but I do know how to make servers and all sorts of stuff like that, and we share that information here, so be sure to subscribe for that. Nevertheless, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe as well, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.